And away they go. Favourite slow out the machine, Silver Matador, lost about a length or so. Just be niggled at to try and keep in touch with them, Silver Matador, in the early part. Guilty has charged. He came out with his head in the air. He wants to oil early on. Pounceable's right there, avaricious. Nimba Beach is there in the early stages, kissing the skies deeper out. Then we find towards the inside, Chalapa Lapa. Silver Matador is giving them six or seven length start. Lafie's around runners. Further back in the running, Ever Deer gives them nine, ten length start. Four Ever further back, and then comes Tafika. They must be about ten, eleven lengths top to tail. Pounceable now moves around to challenge. Guilty is charged in the box seat, kissing the sky, avaricious towards the inside. Roy's Rebels wider out, got about four lengths to make up. Chalapalapa's further back, then comes Lafia and Nemba Beach. The favourite, Silver Matro, he's got ground to make up. He's got about ten lengths to go. As they're about to sweep for home, just on 600 metres left to negotiate. Pounceable, the one to get a hold of. Guilty is charged, about to get a move on. Avaricious is going to go through towards the inside, then comes kissing the sky. Silver Matro is going to have to really pick Pick it up there, he's got nine lengths to make up. Top of the lane, Avaricious now looks to move up. Pounceville, Guilty has charged. Silver Matador hooked to the extreme outside, still four lengths to make up. Guilty has charged as they come inside the 300 and Avaricious. But it's Avaricious who has a half a length to spare. Guilty has charged, trying to run on, but Avaricious has left in the last 100 metres. And Avaricious is going on for the victory. Guilty as charge comes out second best. Third position gets very, very close. It's either going to go to Everdeer or Silver Matador. Number one, Avaricious and Sean Cormack. They knuckle down, they come home and they beat this field. Coming to the last 100 metres as the storm really starts to set in. There's thunder, there's lightning. But we've completed the eight race programme this afternoon. And number one, Avaricious wins a tad cosily as they go down to the winning post. Second position, guilty as charged. There's a scrap for the minor positions. Number 10, Everdeer putting the nose down ahead of Silver Matador and then Pounceville. Just wait on confirmation for the minor positions. Lafie next line. Then came Chalapa Lapa kissing the sky. 300 meters to go and Avaricious moved forward to tackle. On the outside, Guilty is charged. Pounceful. Silver Matador once again never got into the race until very late on. He was laboring in behind runners. But number one, Avaricious, he goes down to the post to win. Race number eight, hand you back to the studio. Well, we've seen Avaricious win the last race and win uh, with a great deal of authority in the end. And then it, it seems like the, the wet ground didn't suit this horse last time. Yeah, last well, you know, I, I said to Jack, very disappointed last time. And Sean said to him, I right, put a line through it. Yeah. And then Pippa watched the race and Pips phoned and said, then I promise you the Vars, they're not at their best in the soft. Yeah, no doubt. Absolute. So, sure, we were a bit bullish today. But still a little bit worried. And uh, I think the 1400 was a bit sharp for him. And, you know, he's such a laid back Lord's left. Yeah. I mean, he's, 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 he's unconscious. <laughs> and as Sean said, Mr. Dyer, oh, please just wait till the penny drops. Yeah. Well, let's hope it's dropped. And uh, I said to Jack and Nancy, listen, I think it's, <laughs> I know he's by VAR, yeah. but uh, I don't think I'm stupid when I'm telling you the source needs. 16, 18, even maybe 2,000. There have been a few vars who've travelled over ground. Absolutely. And, you know, being out of the Jetmaster Mayor, I suppose that's what he's looking for. Yeah. Well done, Dan. Thanks. And, uh, Jack, thanks very much. We missed out on all the oysters this weekend, but uh, you'll have to make up for some other weekend. Thanks. All right, Dan. Sean, come and have a chat. You weren't invited to oysters either. <laughs> but uh, uh, beautifully placed in the fence and quickened up beautifully. Yeah, you know, this, this was his last run was just all wrong, you know. Um, I think it was probably the worst case scenario to run him in a 14 because, um, you know, he'd obviously run over the mile and he came through really well and, and he just got a little bit tired right at the death. Um, I probably would have preferred to run, ride him in a six furlong as opposed to a seven, you know, it's that in between, a little yeah. bit of an awkward trip. 
And uh, back to the mile today, I mean, you know, listen, the, the, the last run threw us off a little bit, broke the confidence a little bit, but um, uh, yeah, we'll wait till the penny drops with this horse. He's, uh, he's still learning. He's a really nice horse. He's got a great attitude about everything. And uh, I just hope he goes the right way. And uh, Mr. Mitchell, what more can I say? You know, he's, uh, uh, we've had a lovely weekend for him and um, we've got some nice horses for him. Um, and uh, he's having a lovely run. Well done to him. Excellent. Well done. Sure. Thank you. Thanks to my boss and to Highlands. Thank you very much. Excellent. Well done. Well done to Jack and Nancy. Nice to see your colours up here in the KZN. Well, the heavens are certainly opening here, and it's, gonna, it's actually pelting down here. But it's been a good day's meeting, and we got through the four turf, and we got through the four poly in the end. But avaricious. Well done to all concerned, the breeder, everybody, to Dennis and Sean. They've concluded our meeting. This is Paul Lafty from the Winner's Circle.